<sighs> Man. I don't know what's happening today, is it? Son, something happened! Ah! Hey, Dad. What's going on? You see, son, I'm showing you this ancient artifact. I think you're finally ready for it. The skeleton of an octopus? That, uh, doesn't make any sense, Dad. Well, it's this one's mystical and magical. You see, son, once your hands in luck with this octopus, he'll be transported into a mystical pirate pocket dimension. One where you must defeat our arch nemesis and reclaim the family name. I know you can do it. I've been training you for this very moment, son. You're supposed to have superpowers for this part, but uh, we're gonna pretend you, you do. I think you're smart enough to defeat him anyway. Oh, well, should I prepare? Should I get like weapons and stuff? Shouldn't I train? There's no time, son! Quick! Take it! You know, for once, I got scammed. You know, I thought she was a nice girl and stuff, and then I get to her house and she's like, hey, what's up? And she didn't look at anything like a profile picture, and I was just like, man. I really understand what y'all went through, you know? Yeah, you finally get it. What's going on over there? It's time! You have to touch it! Oh, oh no! The community placed me in jail soap! Whoops! Ow! God! Ow! <laughs> my god, Chica, are you alright? Uh, what's this octopus thing? I don't know, but it's really weird. Yeah. Oh, I want to see it. It looks cool. Yeah, what is that thing? Wait, no! Don't touch that! Why not? It's just a skeleton of an octopus. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. <gasps> <gasps> oh, shit! Uh, Dad, where did they go? Into that mystical pirate dimension I was talking about, son. <sighs> Maybe Miss Mary have mercy on their souls. So what now? You got any ideas for a funeral? <sighs> oh, if only I had legs. But I got a fin. So I guess I'll start singing just to pass time, I guess, since it's literally just me. And it's like, rock. <laughs> The wind's pointing north, lad. I know, I'm pull I'm a little busy steering the ship at the moment. Considering we ran out of budget for a steering wheel, it makes it a little difficult. Uh. Yeah, I fought tooth and nail to build this ship, boy. Don't you be insulting my greatest creation. Ugh, yes, Miss Roxanne. Uh. Pair off to find the greatest treasure. One that will make the great homelands of Faz Empire rich. My dad owns that place, it's rather nice. Uh, Miss Roxanne, I have one question. What is it, lad? Well, uh, you know, we didn't buy a steering wheel, but why'd we buy a giant piece of, uh, wood that goes off the side of the ship that's all flimsy and makes us off balance and the wind doesn't pick us up correctly? <laughs> you wanna find out, huh? <laughs> Calm down, lad. Just grab on the rope. I'll grab it in a second. Oh, alas, look over there on that oil. What you be seeing, lad? Oh, my. It's gotta be one of the beauteous pearls I've ever seen. Steer the ship that way. I think I knew we're bringing back to the Faz Empire. Not the Faz Empire. This is like the 1700s or like the equivalent to the British. I hate the British. Gotta escape. <laughs> Damn me for moving to the middle of the island. I hate being a fish. I like captain. Almost there! When do I lower the anchor? Just a little closer and we'll be perfect. Oh. <laughs> Come on! Not so fast! <laughs> oh. no. Don't worry, Captain Roxanne, I've got this. Yeah. Why is it so hard to go over the ledge? Put some backbone into it, lad. Hand it here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I finally got her! Hello, mistress. Uh, let go of me! Oh. Your eyes, they're like... They're like sapphires. Oh. Ow! What was that for, you bloody sea varmin? You're literally trying to kidnap me! Oh yeah, I guess I am doing that, aren't I? Uh, Captain Roxanne, you think Boney's gonna be okay? 
Eh, he'll walk it off. How come we're pirates if none of us know how to swim? Now that matters, Freddy. When we return with the mermaid, we're gonna be able to retire. We won't need to be pirates anymore. <sighs> this is not a good day for me. Just think about it, mermaid. You know, you're gonna spend the rest of your days in a fish tank. Big one. By King Charles Frederick III. What's a fish tank? It's like a big glass box with water in it. What's glass? Shut up, you'll find out. In the boat with you. Ah! All right, well, I'll go get Bonnie. Wait, I thought he couldn't swim. I can swim! Oh my god. There we are. Now she's like our, uh... What's that thing you put on the frontier boat? A figurehead? Yes, a figurehead! Well, this is great, old Captain, but, uh... What is it, Freddy? Well, our sail's kinda... That. Oh, my sail! You know how long it took to hand, quick, like, weave that? That's the proper terminology for that, right? No offense, Captain, but this boat is literally being held together by tape and cardboard. Nobody asked ye, sea varmin! She hurt my feelings earlier. She slapped my face with her tail. Well, Miss Roxanne, what do you think we're supposed to do? Uh, considering we're kind of stranded in the middle of the f***ing ocean. Mm. I've got an idea. I'll be right back. Paddle! Paddle again! Paddle a third time! Roxanne, my hand's getting tired. It's been like two seconds. Do you realize how heavy this boat is? Uh, uh well, Miss Captain Roxanne. What is it, Sea Varmin? Uh, Miss Roxanne, you know, I really appreciated that compliment you gave me earlier, and, uh, you know, I'm a really good swimmer. Maybe if we take any of these ropes, I get to steer the boat for you. Oh, you know what? That's actually a really good idea. Wait a minute! Yeah, we can leave ropes. Listen here, Missy. I know when I'm being played. No, I think you. I think you're trying to trick me right now. Uh-uh. Swear on my tails. I never trust a filthy sea varmin like you, even if your eyes are really pretty. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Hey, boss, I think we're out of options. My arm's about to fall off. Uh, well, fine, but if you leave us stranded, I swear to God, I'll get my ghost out and I'll send you down to Davy Jones' locker, you stupid sea vomit, stupid thing. <sighs> there. Woohoo! I'm free! Oh, Captain, you're gonna be seasick. Your face is all red. Um, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, Sea Varmin, get to steering the boat. All righty, Captain, if you insist. <sighs> this isn't very fast at all. <laughs> yes, she's so fast, so agile, so quick. A beautiful, beautiful mermaid indeed. Some of the best of her kind. She can truly be my beautiful bride. I should call him my best soldier. Get in here, Monty! Uh, uh, what's going on, boss? Have you seen that mermaid that's flown by here a couple times? Or swimmed by here, I guess? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, the one with the pink tail? Yeah, that one. I want to make her my beautiful bride. You're a beautiful bride. Well, I guess she is pretty good at what she does. Yeah, she's marvelous at it. Now, since I know you is one of the fastest soldiers in this dang darn sea, I want you to go find her for me. All right, master. I'll do my best. Monty the Sea Serpent is on the mission. <laughs> <sighs> that was fun. <laughs> Now I'm really gonna be seasick. Ugh, where are we? This doesn't look like home. You guys think I know where your home is? I just kind of went around in circles a bunch of times. No wonder I'm so dizzy. Ah, oh, you dirty sea varmin! <sighs> now cause of that, I don't know where we are! The only way we can know how to get home is if we follow the stars, and it's not nighttime yet. Oh, well that sucks for you guys. Well, I did what you wanted, I steered your ship a bit, so I'm gonna go now. Wait! You can't just leave us here for dead! Yeah, I can. You guys were literally gonna kidnap me and put me in a fish tank, or whatever that is. Oh, well, you know, the way Captain Roxanne was describing it earlier was a little bit of hyperbole, you know? That, uh, that big word. Uh, yeah, you know, it, was, it wasn't exactly all true. Fish tanks are actually very nice places. It's a great place for a mermaid like yourself to live. Yeah, and we're the only ones that know where it is, so you better follow us, or you better take us there, because if not, then, uh, we're gonna die. Hmm... I don't think you guys are telling the truth. Please, mermaid, I'll do anything. I'm on me hands and knees here. There ain't much for this poor wolf out in this big old ocean. 
I promise we'll return the favor. Please. <sighs> well, I guess if you guys can promise. Yes, yes, everything, please. We we'll promise. We promise, please. All right, all right. Quit your whining. I guess I'll chill on your stupid boat in the meantime. <sighs> hey, guys. <clears throat> Stop staring at me. Sorry, there's not a lot of places to look on this boat. Yeah, should have made it bigger if you didn't want to do that. <laughs> <sighs> So, what do you want to do for the next six hours? <sighs> I don't know. Hey, I, uh, I never got your name. Oh, uh, my name's Chica. Well, it's, it's a very pretty name. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, why do you keep complimenting me like this? Is something you're not telling me? Uh, no, it's, it's not that. It's just, I, like, I think you're pretty. You know, I, I wasn't lying earlier when I said you was one of the prettiest pearls I'd ever seen. I just... I figured the king would like you just because you were so pretty and stuff. Get off my case. <laughs> I'm not on your case. I just... Thanks. And the other fish, they don't really compliment me like that. Really? Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, I hope this is a start. Yeah. <laughs> it's the dead of night, and I have found their ship. For I am Monty, the sea serpent. My master's greatest soldier. Now we just have to wait for the mermaid to leave the ship, and then I can snatch her up when none of them are looking. Let me go behind this water of wall and hide in the shadow. Did anyone else hear monologuing? Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's nighttime now, so uh, the stars are out. I guess I'm just gonna have to... All right. There's the North Star. Uh, okay. Point the boat that way, and we'll start swimming. All righty. Uh, all right. Mush. Mush. Now it's time to strike from behind! Ah, uh, there's more left! Ah, 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 you're mine. Huh? Did someone say something? Uh, no, I gave you directions that left a couple seconds ago. Oh, weird, I thought I heard someone say, you're mine, Chica, or something like that. <laughs> Kinda weird. Is that a sea serpent? Ah, 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 ah. Woo! Ah, 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 God, why is that hurt so bad? Ah, you knocked my horns off. Ah. What are you doing here? My master wants you for his bride. His bride? I'm not gonna be his bride. Well, you uh, kind of don't have a choice, so uh, come with me or die. No. Come back here. Oh, Chica, you're sending us off course again. Can we just, you know, go for a second? I don't want to get caught by the sea serpent. Yeah. <laughs> No, I have to be strong. I have to defend her. <laughs> oh, why is this tiring? Uh, closing in! Uh, uh, hey, sea serpent! Huh? What's this now? Lay your hands off of my girlfriend! Oh, wait, hold on, I gotta put that little... Yeah. What? Wait a minute. That's not possible. A land creature can't date a mermaid. Well, this one started doing it. Uh, you know, it's it's an arranged marriage. We get married in two weeks. Oh my god, this is a really bad idea. This is a really bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Um, yeah, we're getting married. <laughs> That's why we're taking the boat. We're bringing our cousins, T Terrence and Philip. My name's Freddy, and I'm actually Bonnie. Yeah, shut up, Thunderheads. Uh, master is not going to be pleased about this. Yeah, so uh, back off. However. You know, we do have, like, hypnosis powers and stuff down there, so I'm sure he could just, like, make you love him. Won't be that hard. Oh. I got this! Yeah! Captain Roxanne! Ha! Oh, your weapon is no match for my sea serpent fire breath! Oh. Ah. I think I'm the one person in my group that can swim. Mr. Roxanne! No, the captain's gone overboard! Roxanne! <laughs> you made my horns fall off again. Well, you made my hat fall off earlier, so shut up. <laughs> this is the end for you. Wait! What now? Don't you know? It's not part of Pirate's Code to simply kill a man at battle. Well, I wouldn't want to disrespect the Pirate Code. All right, make it snappy. Since you're doing work for, let's say, your captain, 
I had to face the captain for uh, Chica's love. And if I win, she's all mine. And if he wins, then he can kill me. Hmm. I do think these terms make sense. Wait, Roxanne, but he's probably underwater. There's no way you could defeat him. I'll make it work. To make it a fair fight, I'll use some of my magical sea serpent powers to make it so you can breathe underwater. Here, I'm gonna touch on him. Alright, that lasts for like 20 minutes, so you better make it snappy. Alright! Alright, we're doing this! I'm fighting a sea monster, or whatever the heck is big, big, this big guy's named. Is it the Megalodon? Is it the Kraken? Ha! The Kraken! Oh, oh, oh. Get all this guy. No, no, no. He's much worse than that. Worse than the Kraken? Well, what could possibly be worse than the Kraken? Ooh, but this was a mistake. <sighs> Boy. Come with me. All right, boys. I'll be back. I promise. In approximately 20 minutes. Uh, don't die. So, uh, now what? I brought a deck of cards. Oh, let's go! We've made it to my lair, where my master lies. Oh, this place is huge. Goodness gracious, and Mary and Joseph. I feel like... We're halfway to David Jones' locker by now. Oh, oh, oh. This thing is even scarier than David Jones. Oh, oh man, oh, man. Get introduced to the one, the only, Felix the Shark. <laughs> so, it seems I finally meet you. Oh, I'm Felix. Oh, it's just a shark? I thought it was going to be way worse than that. Chica, you don't understand. This is a part of my family's legacy. An old pirate legend that if you manage to kill a descendant of the great, 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 a couple more greats, a great Felix the Shark, you would set the seven seas free. What? This guy? I mean, he's a pretty big shark, but he's still just a shark. Just a shark! <laughs> Little broad lady, you don't know my history. I don't feel like it boils down very much. I'll win your love, and if I don't win your love, then I'll use my hypnosis to make you love me. I'm... God, thank God we're in water, because if I not, I would have washed that off immediately. All right, Felix. It's for the girl. Captain Roxanne Wolf, it will be an honor to kill you. Oh my god. Yeah, get him, Master, get him. Roxanne. Hey, Felix, over here. If you come over here, I'll give you a big kiss. This is really bad idea. 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 <sighs> so you're confessing your love to me. Our battle means nothing then. <laughs> you lost, little doggy. <laughs> Roxanne! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Master, look out! Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah! What is that light? The light! It's so bright! Ah! Hmm. You got any fours? Yeah, here you go. Woohoo! I win, I win! You done good, Freddy Fazbear. You done? Ow! So, Dad, what are we gonna do with it? Well, I figure we outlive an old pirate tradition. You know, buried at sea, we throw it down to the bottom of the ocean. You know, like a good pirate would. What if they ever get out? Well, they'll drown! I don't like how confident you were when you said that. What's that? <laughs> ah! oh! Guys, you're okay! Uh, uh, oh, what the hell was that? Hey, my pirate voice is gone. Thank God. Yeah, I got real tired of doing that accent. I hate being manipulated by the laws of time and space and weird pocket dimensions. Man, that octopus is creepy. Freddy! Freddy, get up. Uh, <sighs> hey, we get to keep the cool costumes. <sighs> Wait! 
Wait, that was definitely a real tail. Am I permanently stuck with a tail? Oh God, oh, please come off. Oh, it, okay, it, it is coming off. Ooh. Thank God you guys are okay. Yeah, it was crazy in there. We were a part of a high seas adventure. I was a beautiful mermaid, and, and Roxanne and her crew found me, and then we fought Monty, who was a sea serpent, and this guy named Felix the Shark. Wait, Felix, the guy I was supposed to defeat? Wait, how'd you guys get out of there anyway? Well, uh, I killed him. I stabbed him right in the heart, and then we all kind of just poofed out of there. It's pretty cool. Wait, but that was my thing! I was supposed to do that! That's why my dad wanted me to touch the thing in the first place! Oh, well, I mean, he's dead, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. But I, I was supposed to do that! Foxy, do you honestly care about that? I... It, no... Yeah, I really don't. I just want to make my dad proud. He's already proud of you, man. Love is unconditional. It's 2023. Get your head in the bag, not in the clouds, man. Ah, uh, you're right. Let me double check. Dad, you don't disown me because I didn't do it, right? No! I'm just happy it's done because that guy was a dick. Okay, well, yeah, you're good. Well, um... I don't know, go donate the costumes to a good whale. I'm not dealing with the rest of this. Bye, guys. Bye. Ugh, oh, thank God all that's over. No kidding. That was weird. It almost felt like being controlled by Glitchtrap again, except it was, like, way less stakes. Yeah, I don't know what that felt like, but, uh... Maybe it did. Neither did I. At least we know what it feels like now. I don't like it. Hey, uh, Roxanne. What? All that stuff you said about me back there. Were you telling the truth? Uh, well, I, um, uh, that's up to interpretation. I'm not gonna elaborate. <laughs> Thanks, Roxanne. If it means anything, I think you look really cute in that pirate outfit. Shut up! <laughs> Would you two get a room? We're just, it's just, it's, it's platonic! Shut up! <sighs> well, guys, it was another great adventure for the Glamrock gang. You said it. How do we end the video?